We just went on a time traveling adventure in the loop from Panasaurus Games. Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hey there, YouTube. I'm back again today with more of our thoughts from Origins. I'm here with my good friend Adam. And we're here live at Origins. We're playing all the games and telling you all about them so you know. And today I'm very excited to be talking about one of the games that I know is super hot and had a lot of buzz coming out of Gen Con, and that is The Loop. This is for one to four players. It is a completely cooperative game. It's for ages 12 plus, taking about 45 to 75 minutes to play. And in this game, there is an evil bad guy. And this evil bad guy is going to put out one of four different missions. Now, we only played the first mission, which was the basic mission. We're going to play the other three eventually. We might do another follow-up video because my buddy Alan ended up buying this game. But essentially how it works is, in the middle, there's going to be a little cube tower, and it's going, a very little cube tower. It's going to shoot cubes in one of three different directions, and there's going to be, like, I think it's seven quadrants around the outside. And each one of those quadrants is a different era in history. So one has a picture of the Mona Lisa, one is like a castle, one might have like a dinosaur or something like that. And the evil henchman is going to send a bunch of clones to various different spots out on there, and then your job is to try and get those clones from the different time periods back to their original time date before like these different modules around the outside explode because yeah there's there's a lot going on in this game it's kind of a little bit of a difficult you think you can do this one better than i can well i actually don't okay uh, but yeah uh I, li I like that there was a, a septagon in this that's uh you don't see that much in games it's a seven-sided uh, uh, yes. Poly okay, yeah, you got me back on that. So the seven side <laughs> polygons, and each one of them is a different era. And then on the outside of the different eras, you are going to have different objectives that you need to complete. And you need to complete at least four of those objectives to win the game. And the objectives will be like, uh, you know, clear out this spot and clear out that spot. You have to clear out certain spots of the bad guys, or you have to make it so the thing doesn't explode, because that's uh, one of the ways that you can lose the game, is that if you get these three red cubes on a specific one of these sept what you call them septicons septicon wow that's a fancy word you get three of the red cubes on a septicon it like blows up and then if it blows up again you completely lose the game and so you're trying to juggle the the red cubes but then also juggle the clones and there's like the loop which is the time travel aspect of the game where if you go to a place and it's got green cubes down there then you can do your special abilities more than one time and then it's deck builder holy crap there's so much going on in this game where you actually start with your own custom set of cards. I think this is a good, this is probably where it started earlier, because everybody has their own asymmetrical character. And they will have their own asymmetrical deck of cards, then you're going to be going around and collecting cards, and adding them to your deck. Ability. Don't call it a deck building game, even though you technically it's are building a deck a game. little bit. It's not really that much of a deck building I mean, game. Uh, to be, our, our, we beat this game so quickly that we didn't even get into like the second stage. There's like three stages. Yes, it was one of those games, you probably had this where, if you've played a lot of cooperative games, where you teach it to someone and then it's just stupid simple and they're like, wait, no, I swear guys, it's normally not this easy. <laughs> yeah. Like, we went it so hard. It's like, oh, we happened to get the, the right set of characters that just like annihilated this particular yes. like challenge. It wasn't, it was to the point where it almost wasn't fun about halfway through because like we're gonna win this no matter what it almost yeah. pandemic legacy season one two players it gave me that feeling where it's like yeah we're gonna play this out but it's like we we're gonna win which it wasn't a good first playthrough i'll be honest with it you. wasn't like the 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 mechanisms, the gameplay, the ideas were interesting. The characters felt different. You had you know no different it, cards. You know what it felt like? It felt like when we go to the booth and they, they're like, oh, they, okay, we'll play one round of this. And they and set you it like up. play a round of a game and you're like, all right, well, I don't really know how this game is going to play out. Like, that's how it felt. Even though we played a whole game, it's like we only touched the surface. Yeah, we played the complete game. Now, that being said, he also played that same base scenario and said that it was really, really difficult. Um, I, don't, I just don't see how it would be with your ability. Your ability was just stupid power. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Well, also, we were killing henchmen like crazy, too. Yeah, but that's what you're supposed to be doing. Like, I don't know. I want to... Here's the thing. I like the mechanisms enough, and I, and I typically like games that Alan likes enough, because he bought this. He played it once, and he bought it. He liked it that much. Yeah that I definitely am excited to get it back to the table and try it again, 
But if it never got back to the table, I don't think I'd ever push for it to back to the table. I think that we'll play it again. It'll We'll play on the more difficult mode, and we'll like it. I think next time we play it, we absolutely should play with that same character again. Okay. A hundred percent, because, I don't know. TBD on this one. I was not swayed one way or the other. I did, I did like the mechanisms. I like the artwork. I wrote down that it was thematic without being really that much about theme because each of the characters felt lovingly crafted. It really did. It felt like each one had its own personality, its own artwork, its own deck. I liked that. Whereas the story itself, the overarching story was like, whatever. Like, yeah. I liked the artwork. I thought the board where we're actually like putting pieces down and stuff was a little busy for the, you know, we're putting the pogs down on top of there. Um, I can see that. Yeah. But uh, artwork wise, you can I right, put a number on the first gameplay. This. Where would you rank it? I know it's a hard one, because, oh but here's gosh. the thing: like that, you don't get okay. second chances all if, the time. Like yeah. that was the so, first time. So I if played this it. was the only time I ever played this game, I would probably give it a five. Are you excited to try it again? Yes, and I do believe that if I play it again, it's going to be a lot higher than that. So what you're saying is th th this never happens. This is the first time this ever happened. Like I, it's normally way better than this. Yeah, I should. I should <laughs> hope so, because. Yeah, I trust Alan that it was much better than what we got. And, and I also think, <clears throat> I did like there's a good deal of variability that I saw in this game because there's a whole bunch of components that you use in different scenarios, which are hopefully going to do it. And then also uh, the Septicon, you're going to have different, you know, win conditions and the, the order they come out is going to be different. So it will be slightly different. I don't think that this would ever be a game that I think would be one that I would love after seeing what it, what it offered. But I still think it could be a very solid game. But right now I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the six. I think I'm a six. I thought it was okay. I was honestly bored around the middle, but I saw what it could have been, but we kicked its ass too hard. Yeah. Well, there you go. That is the loop. <laughs> it looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check this one out. If you're enjoying this origin discoveries, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach nine thousand subscribers. Celebrate my nine anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, in the comments below, let me know: Have you ever time traveled? Every night when I go to sleep, I time travel to the next day. I wish I could. <laughs> that was a joke about how I don't sleep well. Hope it landed.